So throughout my time on YouTube, we have spoke about many genres of content. We've spoke about gamers, pranksters, financial advice channels, and so on. But one genre we definitely have never touched before is the home DIY genre. A genre on TikTok, YouTube, and a bunch of other social media platforms, but we're specifically focusing on TikTok today because the main critics we're talking about is TB Boop, which sounds very weird in my accent, doesn't it? TB Boop. Tear beep boop, I feel like I'm definitely gonna mess that up throughout this video. And we're also gonna be talking about Corinne Joy here, who has 1.9 million followers, and Tear beep boop currently has 1.9 million followers as well, but that's because she's losing followers. So let's go to the beginning of this drama, all right? So Corinne and Tay both create very similar content. They show videos of them decorating their homes, doing quite like unique designs or designs you wouldn't see in like every home. And the reason why I kind of corrected myself on the word unique there is because that's kind of what this whole drama is about. You know, there's people accusing each other of not being unique. But just because someone isn't the first ever person to do this style of decorating before, I don't feel like that means that they're not unique. From what I've seen, they both decorate their homes in very different ways to what you would usually see, so I would probably say that is unique, regardless if they're the first person to do it, but Tay seems to feel a lot more passionate about being the first to do something, because she decided to call out Corinne for copying her. Now, the original video has actually been deleted from Tay, and we'll see why later on in this video, so I can only find a stitch, and in this stitch, you will actually see the person on the left, kind of countering a lot of Tay's points, showing that she wasn't even the first person to do these types of decorations in the first place. I'm about to be so petty, and I've never done something like this before, but there is a large creator who is just getting out of hand. So this is my mossy mirror that I made. And immediately she makes this, which is like, fine. That's what the coincidence, whatever. Yeah, sorry. I've seen so many like parodies of this video now that I can't listen to like some of the sentences she says without hearing these parodies. Basically the parodies I've seen is people just calling someone out for copying them when obviously they're not copying them and they use the same sentences being like, oh, it's just a coincidence, whatever. But let's look at the other one. And now I've been brainwashed by these parodies. I can't even watch the original video without thinking that she's taking the piss out of herself. But yeah, that's not important, right? The first point that Tay brings up is that Corinne also has a mirror with moss on it. And as we saw by the person who stitched this video, this isn't an original idea from Tay. Plenty of people have done it before. If you just type in moss mirror on Google or Pinterest or whatever, you will see hundreds of mirrors that look very similar. And what makes this even more bizarre is when Corinne was actually originally making this mirror in her videos, it wasn't even supposed to have moss on it. She just wanted to make like a, a wiggly mirror and then she had problems with like painting or whatever because of like the texture of the mirror. So she decided to add moss to it because it was comments telling her to do that. Okay, so we are finishing up this wavy mirror that I've been working on. So this on is what it's supposed to be, ages. a wavy mirror. Last I had sanded the whole thing down. I think I may have saved it. Yeah, she basically made multiple videos making this mirror, trying to sort it out because the texture wasn't right or whatever and she couldn't paint over it. And even if you look in the comment section of this video, you'll see people commenting saying stuff like glue moss to it. Like this is a viewer suggestion. So on her next video designing this mirror, she adds moss to it and even says that this wasn't the original vision. You guys are gonna scream. It's way different from the original vision. And look, even if this was the original vision and she wanted to make a moss mirror, She's clearly allowed to do that. Like, what's the point in these DIY videos if you're not allowed to take inspiration from them and try it yourself? But of course, as Tay said, that could just be a coincidence, so I guess we should probably carry on here, shouldn't we? We have this green squiggle art gallery, and... Green squiggles. Now she does Again, too. not original. The difference is she's hanging something else, so that's different, that's creative. Uh, how passive aggressive, man. The difference is, is that she's actually hanging stuff up, like that's so different, isn't it? So quirky. Ridiculously passive aggressive, she's trying to come across as if she's an arse, she is fuming. But yeah, I feel like it shouldn't have to be explained that you can't own squiggle designs on a wall. And as we saw in the video on the left, Loads of people have done this before. In fact, Corinne actually did this in her old apartment before she did it on her new apartment. And don't get me wrong, she could have came up with these ideas from Tay. In fact, Corinne has said on previous occasions that she is inspired by Tay. She's given credit in certain videos. And there's literally nothing wrong with taking inspiration from someone, especially when they do DIY projects. Like, surely a big part of watching these DIY projects is to see how it's done so you can do something similar. Like, if you want to make these DIY projects but keep it a complete secret, then maybe don't film the process off them and post it to TikTok for me millions of people are saying, you know? Just a thought. Ripping off my boyfriend's art. So that's my boyfriend's art. I have a monster head art gallery. He makes monster heads. They're so realistic and beautiful. This is her version. This is her monster head art gallery. Yeah, okay, so she made like heads and hung them up. Like, I don't get what she's so angry about here. Especially since they look very different. I mean, clearly Tay's boyfriend makes monster art, as she said. This is a monster here, right? But in the one that Corinne's made, 
It's a fucking dinosaur! Okay, so as you guys know, I have been mounting dinosaur heads onto the walls all over my bathroom. Okay, so clearly these designs that she's doing are all dinosaurs by the looks of it. They're not monsters, so first of all, very different. Like, do you now own the process of sculpturing, like, something and putting it on a wall? Because in that case, you should probably be angry at a lot of people. And yet again, this could definitely be inspired by Tay. And Corinna said in videos before that she is inspired by Tay in some of the projects that she's done. But I just don't get why Tay would be annoyed by this. It's clearly a different design. I painted my room green and blue. They're very abnormal color choices. And I got a lot of hate for it, but I really love it. And I spent months choosing the colors. Look at what colors she's doing for her kitchen. And she's painting her appliances. Um, so that's just like another weird coincidence. <laughs> so passive aggressive, man. I look, I don't need to like tell you guys why a colour scheme can't be owned by a person, alright? That's just a stupid fucking thing to say. But actually, this next call out that Tay is about to make actually might be the most stupid out of the bunch. She hung up this cake wallpaper. That just happens to be my actual wallpaper line that I have. Look at this photo. Orange couch, wallpaper, monster head art gallery. That orange couch is literally the knockoff of my orange couch. So she is having a go, Corinne, here for having the same wallpaper. Now, the reason why this is very interesting is because this is Tiz wallpaper that she helped make with another brand. Here it is here. You can buy it online. And from what I gathered, this is a collaboration with a wallpaper company. And this is Tiz design. So Tiz is annoyed that someone bought her product and used it. How does that make sense? Like, can you imagine if I released some fucking merch? I released a hoodie, and then I saw someone wearing it in the street and was like, Excuse me? How dare you wear my hoodie? Like, what did you want people to do with this wallpaper? Just keep it rolled up, put it in a fucking safe? Like, what is going on here? And by the way, here's the video of Corinne unboxing the wallpaper where she gives credit to Otto, the company that actually sold this wallpaper, and says it was created by Tay. I am so excited for today. I finally got in the wallpaper from my craft room, and it is beautiful it's from a brand called auto studio which has been so wonderful to work with i chose their wallpaper designed by danny and tay and it's so beautiful so she says it was designed by danny and tay i'm unfamiliar of who danny is but she mentions tay like what more do you want and you know what this cake design that is on this wallpaper that tay has been selling with auto studios is something that she has done in the past okay she's made these cake mirrors okay so this is one of tay's videos where she's making a cake mirror She's made, like, many videos doing, like, cake mirrors and stuff like this. This is kind of, like, a design that she goes for quite frequently. And it looks good. No one's gonna say it doesn't look good. It looks good, right? It's a fake cake and it looks decent, right? But when you look at the description of this video, you can see that she was actually inspired by someone else to make this. I never thought to add a mirror before seeing Anna Skate to You video. And when we go to this person's page, it is someone who makes decorations that look like cakes, like mirrors and other pieces, like that, just uh, inspired by cakes, right? And obviously there's nothing wrong with Tay saying that someone's made cake mirrors and she's decided to give it a go, because yet again, that's kind of what DIY videos are for. But the fact that she's now annoyed that someone else took inspiration, I don't get it. But yeah, as you can imagine, a lot of people were annoyed when they saw this video because people were fans of Tay and Corinne for their separate content. And then for Tay to just call out Corinne for literally no reason, really, it just seemed a bit weird. And like every situation on TikTok where someone does something stupid, you can imagine they let them know in the comment section. Now, like I said, that original video got deleted, but you can only imagine what the comment section was like on that. But then if we go to the video that was uploaded before that call out video, the comments still aren't good. I have a house. Am I copying you? Should I watch this? What if it inspires me? <laughs> no way. I have a candle hanging on my wall too, but it's cool. I don't gatekeep DIY fun. And yeah, this is pretty much like what all the comments are saying. People are trying to point out how ironic it is that she makes DIY videos and then she was annoyed when someone did it themselves. I feel like with this call out, she was basically sending a message out that anyone who watched her, or 1.9 million of them, can't do any of the designs that she does. She wants to keep them to herself, even though she makes DIY videos, and if one of her viewers copies her, they're doing something wrong. Now, even though the majority of people were on Corinne's side here, there were still some people sending her hate, which resulted in her having to make a response video. So I'm getting like a lot of DMs and comments and stuff, and I haven't seen this video um, because she posted it and then blocked me. What? Imagine calling someone out and pointing out the reason why you're calling them out and then blocking them so they can't see the points. Like, wasn't that the point of the video? Like, to post it so you can point out the reason why you're not happy with this person so they would stop doing it? Or was the reason you posted it because you wanted people to stop watching Corinne and supporting her? You know, like, unfollowing her, not watching her videos anymore, ruin her reputation? Because if you don't want her to see the video, but you're happy for the world to see it, it seems like that probably was what you were going for. I really genuinely like this creator and 
She was like one of the first people I followed on here that I was really like, wow, like this decor style is so cool. It is so colorful and so fun and just really encouraged me to like actually express myself. Yeah, like I can't lie. I feel really bad for Corinne because when you watch her video, she clearly enjoys doing this DIY stuff a lot in her video. She's always ridiculously happy when she's doing this stuff. Even when stuff has gone wrong, like with that mirror where it wasn't going well, the texture wasn't right and she had to change it up. She was still very happy. Like she really seems to enjoy doing this. And then for someone who has inspired her a lot to make this content and do something that she is passionate in to then call her out, I can only imagine how hurtful that is. I think it's so crazy to say that no one else can decorate like in color or have similar colors to you and it automatically being me like maliciously copying her it is crazy the reason why it sounds crazy is because it's crazy and i think to be like a content creator on here some of that comes with if you're branding yourself as a diy channel do this yourself here's how i did it here's the links for the supplies and then to say no one can be inspired off of you is just wrong a hundred percent that is the point of the video surely and actually she just brought up a good point here that i forgot to mention because if you go to tiz tiktok account she has a link tree link here right okay and when we click onto that we get a bunch of options here we've got her podcast we've got her rent which I'm assuming is just like donations to pay rent. I don't know what that is, to be honest. But one that does stand out is this Amazon DIY supplies links. And it goes to our Amazon account where she has linked items that she's used in videos so you can buy them and do it yourself. So how are you calling out people when they do it themselves? And there are going to be people that continue to grow on this app with that same style, with my same style too. Because we're, our whole platform is encouraging other people to do the same thing. Now, luckily, people took this video very well, and they don't seem to be hating on Corinne at all. I mean, we'll go through the comments here. A huge part of art is inspiration. All artists take inspiration from somewhere, something, or someone. You are someone I really enjoy watching, Corinne. You are both DIYers and both influence. I love y'all. I've personally never seen her page till now, but the reason I started watching you is because of your unique, colourful style. I am now hooked. So yeah, the comments are very positive, clearly. People do seem to be on Corinne's side, and this actually resulted in Tay delivering deleting her video and then releasing a new statement. I posted a vid today that I should have continued to handle privately. This isn't what I wanted my page to be about, so I've removed it. I'm passionate about giving credit to designers and creators, and I wish that could have been the case here when it was first addressed. Now, a few things to point out in this statement straight away. There's no apology, like she's not apologising to Corinne for what she said when I feel like she should be. And she's also still throwing a few digs. She's saying like, I just care about giving credit to designers and creators and I wish that happened in the first place. To which Corinne has done in the past. I've shown examples of that in this video. So I just don't understand. Do you want her to give credit every fucking second of every day? Like, what do you want here? And yet again, I think this all boils down to the fact that she makes DIY videos showing people how to do stuff themselves. And then she's annoyed when people do it themselves. That's what's so stupid here. And the comments are still pretty negative on this video. We've got some that say, I actually followed you and found your account because of when she credited you on a video. Yeah, like I mentioned, she has credited her before, but I guess it wasn't enough for Tay. Everyone with squiggles in their house, be prepared to be sued for the rights to squiggling your own home. My son wants his room green and blue. Can I please have your permission to do it? Yeah, so people are clearly still just taking the piss. It's interesting. I didn't think there would ever be drama in the, the home DIY genre on TikTok but clearly there can be drama in any genre. And to me, it seems like Tay is just a bit jealous that Corinne is getting more views than her on her videos, which is just the truth. I mean, if we look at Tay's most recent videos here, they average about 100k, some less than 100k, some a bit more, then she'll have like the odd one that gets like a million. But then if we look at Corinne's newest videos, she averages probably about... 400k i would say there's some of like 300 some with over a million some of 700 like it's just more and to me it does just seem like tay is a bit jealous of this and just kind of clutched at straws to say like you're not allowed to diy even though that's literally what diy means but yeah i would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below on this whole situation if you did enjoy the video please do a like down below subscribe if you are new and until the next one i'll see you guys in a bit all right goodbye